Hello, this is the first video in the series of videos regarding the Lily Go TT Go T Internet PoE Power Over Internet board with ESP32 processor. We will uh, uh, program this board, especially the ESP32 processor in the ESP IDF5 environment and in order to write a simplest possible program we will define uh, a Wi-Fi and send a post uh, a message uh, from the board to the server a, a special note is that we using this board with the special boards which was sold with it which enables us, us to uh, write on this board in uh, very easy fashion we connect our USB connector here without connecting the power it's very important without connecting the power and then we can communicate with all this board with one single USB connection and it's very convenient in order to do so, in the uh, SIMS IoT Devices repository, inside repositories, we have a Lily Go TT Go T Internet PoE board. And in this video, we're interested with the first, the Lily Go T, T, T Internet PoE board connection via Wi Fi and post command execution. So, we will take this, uh, this file and copy it to our project. Additional remark that I also added um, a SD config file. In this and the second video, they are not really important. But in the third video, this file will be much more important. So now you can compare between those files and this is the purpose why are they added here anyway uh, we are talking about this code and we are copying it to our editor please note that inside the main we have our project uh, the my data the uh, file with uh, uh, with relevant password uh, you have this file here also this one just fill fill in here uh, your password as ssd and password okay and uh, um, okay and sd config is our main project not inside main this is a, a way the standard project is built okay so uh, I will connect the board to the computer as we told via, via the USB connection and uh, run the program and we can go over this uh, this program here we have a lot of includes which is not necessary in this version in sake of simplicity in order not uh, will will not change those includes between our other versions in the consecutive series of uh, um, uh, films and um, only partially it is needed for this application here we have a standard wi-fi handler which was explained in the previous videos we also have a wi-fi connection file which read ssd and password from the data file and we have two files a handler post handler and server initiation to enable the post command all those uh, files were explained in the previous videos and our main mission is just to check that the hardware is working how we can do it now you see the program is running and it's connected on this ip Okay, so we can open a postmaster with 
this IP and send a post command. I will send a post command and you see post response from ESP32 post response from ESP32 this message was sent to the server. In that way we can check on a very basic example that all the hardware is working that uh, we can uh, read and write and see on the screen uh, the via USB connection all required data and uh, basically uh, we have our setup uh, for the next stage uh, working uh, properly thank you